What's going down, y'all? Happy New Year. Just want to say hello and thank you for joining me on another episode of Better Than Bad. Alright, so it's 2019. Y'all know what that means. New year, new you. So what I'm doing with this year, since I've accomplished everything I've been working for, I'm at this point where I can solely focus on the things that drive me, focus on my passions, focus on my work, and finally get myself to a point where I'm 100% solid in my style. Today, I'm gonna jump straight into it. I'm gonna show you exactly how to design a futuristic hologram image using only brushes in Photoshop. You ready for this? Let's get started. Alright, and that's how we do it here in the Phase 2 Photo Studio. Thank you once again for joining me down that digital journey of how to create a holographic type image using only brushes in Photoshop. I really hope you enjoyed your stay. I've got another episode coming out this week and I can't wait to see you there. If you haven't done so, take a look at our Facebook page. Over there we run different contests, different giveaways, specials, drop a whole bunch of links that don't leave here on YouTube, and go ahead and give that page a like. I'll make sure I inform you of any new releases, any new brushes, any new tools that I think you guys can use to increase the quality of your Photoshop workflow. Real quick, I just wanted to break that image down for you on why I even created this image. This image basically represents the blindfold that we put over our eyes, specifically with the devices that we use, such as the one you're using to watch this right now. What happens when we do that is we're fed a bunch of information that literally rewrites the way that we feel. We're we're given thoughts from other people. We take things personally. We're being given ideas and concepts and thoughts and emotions that we wouldn't normally come up with if we weren't constantly plugged in. And I am one of those people. What is most important is what you do with that information. Are you letting it guide your behavior? Are you letting that information roll off your back? Or do you use that to justify the person that you are? When it comes down to it, 2019 is the year that you figure out 
who you are, what you are, and why you are the way that you are. And looking at ourselves objectively, we can see where our brains go when we design projects, the way we treat people, and more importantly, the way we treat ourselves. If we take care of us, we take care of those around us. Let's take 2019 to be that change we want to see in the world. Open that door for someone, do something nice for somebody for no reason other than the fact that it's just a good thing to do. I want to hear what your 2019 goals are. Do you want to become a better designer? Do you want to become a better photographer? Do you want to think more creatively? Do you want to think further outside the box? Do you want to understand yourself? Whatever it is, I want to hear about it. Just leave me a comment below and let's strike up a conversation. And if you are a content creator, such as a photographer, a designer, hairstylist, makeup, skateboarder, gamer, whatever it is, I want you to get in contact with me because I would love to work with you. Now that I mentioned that, just want to ask a small favor from you. You can go ahead and give me a like, a subscribe, and hit that bell. That way, you'll get an update every time I release an episode just like this. And I wanted to remind you, you may not be the best, but you're definitely better than bad.